of like when you meet someone in a bar, if it be a friend or it be a potential lover, whatever, if you start talking, you either kind of hit it off and get each other or you don't. And sometimes that develops over time. Um, there might be someone you didn't think that was going to be the case, and that does happen. But Sometimes you fall in love with people you work with who you would never normally say was your type, but you spend so much time with them, exactly. sneakingly it happens. You're forced to fall in love with them. Yes, so you're like, and all your friends are like, but that's not even your type. Yeah, exactly. I feel this is really, this is a really personal experience. Sorry, here, okay? that sounds so bad. Yeah. London yeah. Film Festival. Um, mm. Sally's just told me, this is so random, you were not allowed to talk to Jason at all, like to even get to know each other till you mm. actually arrived on set, because she wanted it to be like dangerous and a mystery yeah. did that work have you seen the film no no no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm you. I hope so I hope so yeah I, I, I agree with it I think mm. it's a it was the best kind of action we we just didn't we didn't want it to feel like we knew each other too well it was yeah. the the film kind of rides on those kind of nerves of like when you fall in love with someone yeah. you know and if, if it's already too familiar then that kind of gets lost or it's harder to generate um, organically but you pick these like really cool very different roles i don't think anyone can ever put you in a box and say this is what ben's gonna do oh, is nice. that deliberate or is it just panning out like that uh a little bit of both mm. i suppose you know i'm still an actor i still want to work yeah. um but i always like to explore different people different characters you know yeah. things i haven't done before um but it's always like it's always a shot in the dark you never really know like this film is great that it's here at london film festival that we went to toronto but like when I signed up for it, it could never have got made and or you know it could have not done as well as it has done so it's yeah it's just I, I don't know for me it's always just whatever the script is if I like it and there's something I, I find interesting about it or I can do something I think is interesting with it then I'm up for it. Yeah. I was lucky to talk to some actors during London Film Festival a lot right. of people sadly haven't been able to attend but Peter Sarsgaard a handful of people have and they've all kind of reiterated that it's been lovely to be able to promote independent films right, during right. such a crazy time it's almost yeah. like this is the good bit out of it all. Yeah, I mean, it's always great to be able to support independent film. Uh, obviously, yeah, I fully support the SAG strike. Um, uh, and it is, I suppose it makes you more grateful to be able to support independent film at this time. And I suppose there is the potential uh, upside for independent film that there's not so, it's, they're not getting lost amidst some more uh, projects with more money behind them, I suppose. It's really sad because we're looking at the next three months and we're thinking oh my god what does this mean we're not going to see the actors or the right you know for you and your peers or your friends mm. are you feeling how we're feeling like as in we want to go back to work we want this sorted yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. and all the all those crews out there as well that are, that are out yeah. of work i mean it's it's crazy so yeah i i just want them to reach an agreement the sooner the better you know and i hope that the next time they sit down then they get it done you know fingers crossed, fingers crossed you know yeah. Yeah. Has to happen. Thank you. Hey. Pleasure to meet you. Hey,